So uh, my name is Chris Ibarra. Um, I do GIS mapping and GIS data analysis for HRP Associates. And today I'll be going through just a quick tutorial of how to set up a map, add some potential sample locations, and how to set up a template to export to PDF. And at the end, we can show a, a complicated example of an interactive web map and how far you can push GIS uh, for clients or if you want to share data in an interactive way. So the first thing to get started, you have to know where your site location is going to be. So for this, up top here, there's the binocular symbol. And if you open that up, um, this is your search bar. So it works the same way as Google Maps. You can type in an address and it will zoom you right to that location. I guess we can start with um, the New York office. So after zooming to it, it brings you at a fixed distance above the ground for this site. And for our purposes, we're going to be showing an air photo um, so you can see what the actual ground looks like. So the way to update that is to go into your map menu at the top of the screen. And this is where you can change your base map. Um, this is the flat image. It's already been georeferenced, and the GIS program already knows where locations are on this base map relative to points that you place and other points in different sections of the maps. The typical layer I like to use is the image hybrid. Um, it gives you an air photo and it also gives you the names of the streets. Um, so this is the, the base map image that is provided with. Um, there's some other options if the area that you're interested in mapping doesn't have a current air photo. Um, you can also import a photo from Google Earth, depending on what the most clear air photo you can find is. But for our purposes for this, um, this looks like it's going to be uh, appropriate. The next step we like to do is to set the map projection into a state plane. Um, for us, what it does is it flattens the map and it also sets the units for locations into feet for the X and Y coordinates. It's very helpful for us in terms of putting things onto the map and also estimating volumes and areas because uh, every all the units are already in feet. So the way to set that up is you go into your map in your contents pane on the left side and you'll right click on that and go down to properties. And under properties in coordinate systems, this is where we can change it from. Right now it's in the WGS 1984 web mercator, which is typically used for latitude and longitude. Um, Google Earth uses this uh, projection system. I have it saved in my favorites and we're gonna select for this location in Clifton Park, New York, just north of Albany. Um, it's gonna be the State Plain, New York East, 3101 East State Plain for New York State. If you don't have it saved in your favorites, you can also go down to Projected Coordinate Systems and go into State Plain. And for us, we're interested in using the 2011 US feet. And if you scroll down, you'll see the the four coordinate systems for New York State. There's a Long Island State Plain, East, Central, and West. So for us, we're gonna select East. And you'll see the map change slightly because it's taking it from a spherical Earth and, and forming it into a flat plane. So now all of our units are gonna be in feet um, as our initial site setup. 